widely recognized as one of the most creative and influential musicians of the 20th century, Jimi Hendrix pioneered the explosive possibilities of the electric guitar. But outside of his trademark left-handed guitar playing lies a universal legend with Cherokee heritage. My grandma used to tell me beautiful Indian stories. <laughs> I used to see her a lot, you know. And she used to make these clothes for me, and so then after I stayed with her for a while, you know, I used to go back and um, take these clothes to school and wear them and all that, you know, do a little black. Jimi Hendrix, born Johnny Allen Hendrix on November 27, 1942, was later renamed James Marshall by his father, James L. Hendrix. By high school, Jimi graduated to his first electric guitar, but quickly learned that his native heritage was not something to be proud of. I used to get so mad that I just, you know, didn't even pay too much attention because what the teacher was telling us, you know, and he has a bad. After playing venues in Greenwich Village, Jimmy moved to London to form a new band, the Jimi Hendrix Experience. The Experience's chart-topping first album, Are You Experienced, featured a native-inspired song, I Don't Live Today. Jimmy's second album, Axis, Bold as Love, featured another native-inspired song, Castles Made of Sand. Unlike what he was taught in high school, Jimmy now would speak freely and openly about the plight of Native Americans in interviews. There's some of them that have a lot of money, you know, got, you know, this and that because they get checks and all this, but there's a lot of them on the reservation, man. It was really terrible. Every single house is the same, you know. It's, uh, not even a house, it's like a hut. Oh, it's just a really bad scene for them, you know. Like uh, half of them were down on Skid Row, you know, drinking and really completely out of their minds, you know, and they're not doing anything. Unfortunately, Jimmy was unable to see his next musical vision through due to his hectic worldwide touring schedules and then tragic death on September 18, 1970. Today, Experience Hendrix exists as a company formed by this artist's surviving relatives. Each succeeding rock generation continues to discover Jimi Hendrix anew and claims him as its own. Tonight, we are proud to induct Jimi Hendrix into the NAMA Hall of Fame.